morning. I don't know if I'm even going to post this on YouTube or not, but I um, just kind of wanted to make my own quarantine diaries because it's lonely in here. <laughs> it's been a week since I have not left my house and I'm kind of going stir crazy just, just a little bit, but it's fine, you know. I'm just out here helping flatten the curve. Sometimes like it can get to me, but you know, I just kind of think about how at least I am safe at home. I know for a while I was feeling like I was just like stuck at home. I can't go to my work. I can't go hang out and see my friends. But if, you know, you just kind of switch things around and just think about how you're actually staying in and you're actually safe at home, it kind of um, makes a big difference. Sometimes like I can kind of keep myself occupied also just helps that we're actually pretty busy at work right now like there's so much things that I have to do that maybe being you know at home like in quarantine is not too bad because I can get some things done so I would say I feel very fortunate and very grateful that I still even have a job despite all of this Sometimes I just want to lay and scroll on TikTok, like not really a good use of my time. So I'm trying to cut back now because I've noticed that I am incredibly addicted to the app. So I kind of have to wean back a little bit, maybe take care of the stuff that I have a meaning to do that I've always told myself that I didn't have the time because I would rather go out and you know hang out with my friends and do something else so I kind of feel like right now this is like a blessing in disguise um, I know that some people may not have the same I guess luxury a lot of people like lost their jobs because of the virus in that regard I'm just I'm just really grateful to even still have my health. I have work that I actually really enjoy. Sometimes I just sit here too and just kind of think like, wow, this is, this is what we're living right now. I mean, I can't say that I haven't cried randomly by myself during this whole thing, but yeah, it's, it can get really sad. It can get, um, it can be a lot. Just because like it's very different from you know what I know what we know I mean I'm sure we're gonna get out of this hopefully better people <laughs> if I'm feeling lonely then you know FaceTime people I've been like FaceTiming my friends and like my brother and my mom it's Sunday right now March 29th and I'm just trying to get my own work done before I hop on my work computer and get some stuff done or prep that I need to do before tomorrow it's day 20 of this quarantine and I'm finally tackling my office today is the day to be ruthless about what I'm going to keep I haven't been getting a lot of PR mail which is kind of a relief I just have no idea what I'm gonna do with all the stuff that I'm receiving not that I'm being um ungrateful or anything you guys know that i'm thankful that i'm even getting this but it's just a lot for one person and i've actually offloaded a lot of the things to my friends and family already and they're probably sick of me giving them stuff i have the stomach flu and i have been just eating crackers white bread and I made myself a banana apple smoothie because it's part of the brat diet. Brat meaning banana, rice, apple, and toast. I called work off today because I just don't have the focus or the energy to sit in front of the computer to work. So it wouldn't be fair for my employer if i'm like doing half ass work so i told my manager that take the rest of the day off and like try to feel better i am so i'm actually really upset that i even 
got sick and I got sick because I ate something bad that I made. Uh, I guess maybe I shouldn't have eaten it. Oh, it's just not a good time right now, but you know what? I have food and I'm feeling a little bit better. So hopefully by the end of today, I will be at least 70% okay. But right now I'm just kind of lounging around with my Gatorade my smoothie and just trying to fill my tummy with some food because i haven't been able to retain it it seems like <laughs> today is the day when i'm finally gonna get rid of my nose piercing it's may 20th and i'm just gonna get i'm just gonna take it off and hopefully i'm not gonna mess up my nose in the process of doing this because I don't even really have the right tools first of all I've been talking about getting rid of my nose piercing for a while and I think I should just do it I'm just gonna do it this is how it looks like right now and I'm hoping that in the next few days, it's not going to leave a mark. Believe it or not, I did not have a working microwave throughout this whole quarantine. And I had to do it the old-fashioned way by heating things up in the stove or, an, or in my toaster oven. But today, I'm going to finally tackle getting this fixed because I don't think I need a new microwave. I looked it up on YouTube and I just need to replace a part inside. So I'm gonna have to take this apart and hopefully it works. <laughs> and we're still in the middle of a pandemic, but the salon that I'm gonna go to um, is open. They actually require you to wear a mask and gloves. So I don't know how it's gonna be like when I'm get when I get there, I'm kind of nervous, but I kind of hate my hair already. So I, I just kind of want to get a haircut. But this is what eight months of not cutting it looks like. Okay, I am back home now. And I actually washed my hair again. I took a shower when I got home. I feel like this whole situation has made me more hypersensitive it made me more um really ocd about keeping everything clean so i like took a shower i mean they washed my hair when i was at the salon and um but yeah so this is how it looks like it might be a little bit hard to see just getting a haircut felt like i was doing something illegal because um i don't know i just kind of feel like i shouldn't be going outside and doing things like this but i really needed a haircut today is the day where i'm finally going to repaint my kitchen cabinets and i have been living at my condo for 10 years hopefully i don't mess this up this is my first time painting um kitchen cabinets by myself so we'll we'll see how it goes so right now it's still 99 i'm gonna do my 100th meditation and i'm so excited because i actually kept up with this habit for 100 days actually try to do this as much as possible first thing in the morning um, if not I just you know try to remember to do it and I also have a habit tracker but I do like how this app tracks your streaks we're here at Salvation Army and their home stuff is pretty good oh there's crystal we're taking our first break. <laughs> We're already we having even, lunch. <laughs> we haven't even done lunch. <laughs> we got some Lee sandwiches, coffee. Liquid inside the mile here, please do not spill it. At the next station, they'll show you how to do your own liquid inside the mile. Just put the liquid and roll on forward. Okay, thank you. 
pick up my kit. They're gonna show us how to do the oral swab. Glad I did this. It was like a nice birthday gift to myself. I think I just really needed to get out because I've been kind of cooped up at home and you know with this whole pandemic thing it's, it's either you're just alone in your thoughts and you're you know you're you, I don't know at least for me it like really forced me to just just think <laughs> You know, it's, I mean, it's not too bad. I learned a lot. Sometimes, you know, it's like hard when you're by yourself. I'll be okay.